Have you heard of the three P's of diabetes? The three P's of diabetes are polydipsia, polyuria, and polyphagia. The word polydipsia refers to excessive and intense thirst. The word is often used in medicine to describe conditions that cause people to urinate more frequently than they usually do, causing the body to believe that it needs to replace the fluid lost in the urine. The term is also associated with conditions that cause excessive fluid loss, such as excessive sweating, high salt diets, and diuretics. In the case of diabetes, polydipsia, excessive thirst, can be described as one of the most common symptoms. Since large amounts of glucose accumulate in the blood in diabetes, our body must take action to control the level. The kidneys produce more urine to ensure that the glucose can be eliminated quickly, thereby returning blood glucose levels to normal. This can lead to a sudden loss of fluid. Polyuria refers to frequent urination. It is among the most commonly reported signs of diabetes. Polyuria is common in people with diabetes because glucose accumulates in the renal tubules. This can increase urine when glucose is absorbed into the tubules, but cannot be absorbed and returned to the bloodstream. When the kidneys try to remove glucose, they also filter out extra water from various parts of the body. This leads to the production of urine, which must then be excreted. It can be challenging to determine the reason for polyuria when polydipsia is present simultaneously because both can be in the same place simultaneously. If someone is thirsty, they are likely to urinate more because they drink more fluids. If someone urines more frequently, their body is dehydrated and feels increased thirst. Polyphagia refers to excessive hunger. There are times when an increase in appetite is expected, such as after increased physical exertion or hormonal changes. However, food will not satisfy your cravings if you suffer from polyphagia. Because glucose cannot be quickly absorbed into cells to serve as an energy source, the body continues to signal to the brain that it's hungry because it's not getting the energy it needs from the food it's already consumed. Are the three P's enough for diabetes diagnosis? The three P's are present in the majority of people with diabetes. However, in those with type 2 diabetes, these could not be as prominent as those with type 1 diabetes. In certain instances, people with diabetes might not show the symptoms and are not diabetic. To help a doctor determine if you have diabetes or not, they'll examine all signs and symptoms and then conduct several tests. In the next video, we will discuss how these tests are performed and diabetes is diagnosed.